internal thoracic artery. In this topic, we will be discussing the origin, course, relations, and branches of the internal thoracic artery. There are two internal thoracic arteries, right and left, situated deep to the anterior chest wall on either side of the sternum. Origin The internal thoracic artery arises from the first part of the subclavian artery, about 2.5 centimeters above the medial end of the clavicle, opposite to the origin of the thyrocervical trunk. Course The internal thoracic artery descends posterior to the medial end of the clavicle and upper six coastal cartilages around one centimeter away from the lateral margin of the sternum. It ends in the sixth intercoastal space by dividing into superior epigastric and musculophrenic arteries. Relations Anteriorly, from above downwards it is related to the medial end of the clavicle, internal jugular vein, brachiocephalic vein, phrenic nerve, pectoralis major, external intercoastal membranes, upper six coastal cartilages, internal intercoastal muscles, and upper six intercoastal nerves. Posteriorly, above the second coastal cartilage, it is related to the endothoracic fascia and pleura. Below the second coastal cartilage, it is related to the sternocostalis muscle, which intervenes between the artery and the endothoracic fascia and pleura. The internal mammary artery is accompanied by two venae commutantes, which unite at the level of the third coastal cartilage to form the internal thoracic or mammary vein, which runs upwards along the medial side of the artery to terminate into the brachiocephalic vein at the root of the neck. Branches Pericardiophrenic artery It arises in the root of the neck above the first coastal cartilage and descends along with the phrenic nerve till the diaphragm. It supplies the pericardium and pleura. Mediastinal branches. They are small and supply the connective tissue, thymus, and front of the pericardium. Anterior intercoastal arteries. These are two in number for each of the upper six intercoastal spaces. Perforating branches. They accompany the anterior cutaneous branches of the intercoastal nerves. In females, the perforating branches of the second, third, and fourth intercoastal spaces are larger and supply the breast. Superior epigastric artery. It runs downwards behind the seventh coastal cartilage, between the sternal and first coastal slips of the diaphragm. It enters the rectus sheath where it ends by anastomosing with the inferior epigastric artery, musculophrenic artery. It runs downwards and laterally behind the 7th, 8th, and 9th coastal cartilages and gives two anterior intercoastal arteries to each of those intercoastal spaces. It pierces a diaphragm near the 9th coastal cartilage to reach its undersurface. It supplies the diaphragm and the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall.